Hi, I'm Mary Pope Osborne, author of the Magic Treehouse series. I bet many of you know that the first graphic novel from the Magic Treehouse series, Dinosaurs Before Dark, came out this spring. Well, now I'm really excited to tell you that The Night at Dawn is going to be a graphic novel too this fall. And it's just as wonderful by illustrators Kelly and Nicole Matthews two sisters, twins in fact, and my wonderful friend Jenny Laird who adapted the story for the graphic novel. Now, this book is so brilliantly put together. The art is wonderful. This is the inside cover of the book when you take off the outside jacket. And this is how the graphics look in the book. And here you have a, the in the story, and if you are maybe familiar with The Night at Dawn, Jack and Annie have found themselves in a castle, a medieval castle from about a thousand years ago, and they are lost in the castle and they hope nobody finds them, but they find themselves in the armory room. And the first thing Jack wants to do is try on a helmet. So he puts a helmet on his head, which is more than 25 pounds, and it's more than he can almost bear. And when his head is in the helmet, they hear a noise and someone's coming and they're so frightened, they start moving around and Jack falls, clang, bash. He hits his head and he crashes to the ground. And suddenly, guess what? Into the room, an armory room, come three guards. And the guards are not happy to find two kids there. And they yank the helmet off of Jack's head and they say, to the dungeon. And Jack and Annie are taken down to a dark dungeon where they meet other people who are in the dungeon. And a whole interesting part of the adventure happens when they're down there. Now, I told you, I love these illustrations. I'll show you some examples of what I really love. This is Annie when she whips out her flashlight and uses it like a magic wand. Isn't that just great? It's so colorful and so energetic. I think it really helps tell the story. And many of you are familiar with that moment, so it's fun to see it done in a different way. Another favorite piece of art of mine is when they come out of the castle and they don't know what's going to happen next. And look what appears in the night. This gorgeous knight on a shining, in shining armor on a horse starts to come across the lawn outside the castle. And Jack and Annie end up on the back of the night, back to this original cover, and take the ride of their life. Now this is going to be such a good treat for you, especially if you already know the series and you already know Jack and Annie. I hope you get it. I hope you love it. And hopefully there'll be more graphic novels of the Magic Treehouse.